Femi Ohuma Afakuma Kaswa Onashe Je na my channel. Welcome. I don't know if I've left out any community. 
if I've left her in competitive form. Congo, 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 Congo. You're most welcome. You're most welcome. We are happy that we are coming together today to celebrate this mass with our bishop. And we pray that his visit will bring a lot of blessings to our communities here and who will help us in our lives as Christians, as Catholics. And um, I hope this is not going to be the first and the last. The leaders of these communities, please just think of it seriously so that we come together as often as possible to celebrate masses together. Once again, Bishop, you are welcome. Brothers and sisters, you are welcome. Now I invite the Bishop to lead the mass for us. Shall we please stand? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. So it's with pleasure that I meet you, Africans from various countries, named by Father Peter Biafiakenten. And then we see a few others not from Africa who have joined us. In the Gospel reading today, there is a blind man who is named Bartimaeus. And Jesus healed him of his blindness. So the theme will be on Bartimaeus. Let us now call to mind our sins and ask the Lord to forgive us. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have really sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our Lord. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
The Lord has delivered his people, the remnant of Israel. Behold, I'll bring them back from the land of the north. I'll gather them from the ends of the world, with the blind and the lame in their midst, the mothers and those with child. They shall return as an immense throne. They departed in tears, but I will console them and guide them. I will lead them to the brooks of water on a level road, so that none shall stumble. For I am a father to Israel. Ephraim is my firstborn. The word of the Lord. The responsorial son. The Lord has done great things for us. We are filled with joy. The Lord has done great things for us. We are filled with joy. When the Lord brought us back the captives of Zion, we were like men dreaming. Then our mouth was filled with laughter and our tongue with rejoicing. Then they said among the nations, The Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us. We are glad indeed. The Lord has done great things for us. We are filled with joy. Restore our fortunes, O Lord, like the torrents in the southern desert. Those that sow in tears shall be rejoicing. The Lord has done great things for us. We have filled the world. Although they go forth weeping, carrying the seed to be sown, they shall come back rejoicing, carrying their sheaves. Already we for the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, Every high priest is taken from among men and made a representative before God to offer gifts and sacrifices for sins. He is able to, to uh, deal patiently with the ignorant in them, for he himself is beset by weakness. And so for this reason, must make sin offerings for himself as well as for the people. No one takes this honor on himself, but only when called by God, just as Aaron was. In the same way, it was not Christ who glorified himself in becoming high priest, but rather the one who said to him, You are my son. This day I have begotten you. Just as it says in another place, you are a priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. The word of the Lord. According to Mark. Glory to you, o Lord. As Jesus was leaving Jericho with his disciples and a sizable crowd. Bartimaeus, a blind man, 
the son of Timaeus, sat by the roadside, begging. On hearing that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, son of David, have pity on me. And many rebuked him, telling him to be silent. But he kept calling out all the more, Son of David, have pity on me. Jesus stopped and said, Call him. So they called the blind man, saying to him, Take courage. Get up. Jesus is calling you. He threw aside his cloak, sprang up, and came to Jesus. Jesus said to him in reply, What do you want me to do for you? The blind man replied to him, Master, I want to see. Jesus told him, Go your way. Your faith has saved you. Immediately, he received his sight and followed him on the way. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to the Lord Jesus Christ. God is good, and all the time, Yami, Farm Bono, Samoan Toa, Luca for Jesus Christ. So I often like to begin the homily by extending various greetings. I learned some people are from my second hometown in Nigeria, Ibolachi, Odema, Kedu, okay. So my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, it's with joy that I celebrate this Mass with you. I want to thank the priest in charge of the African community, Father Peter Biafia Kenten, as he indicated, we've known ourselves for a while, at least from 1996, uh, when he was the administrator for finance in at Kumasi Archdiocese, and I was in charge of the money in Accra. I'm not sure of money. <laughs> I'm also happy to see Father David, whom I've known for a while, and then Father Francis, who sitting somewhere for the Francis who was my mate in uh, Pedro, who were mates from 1986 to 1992. So I feel at home in your midst. And uh, before I come to the main theme for today, I want to acknowledge the fact that there are challenges in practicing one's faith once away from home. There are several challenges. And so I want to thank God for sustaining your faith once you are away from home. Sometimes you meet with the others and the way the Mass is celebrated, uh, though it's Catholic, but you don't feel home at home at Mass. And so I want to encourage all of you to continue.
continue to keep your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. You've been doing so well already. Continue with your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Now the theme that I have chosen is just one word, one name, Bartimaeus. The blind man mentioned in the gospel reading that is his name, Bartimaeus. In the Bible, especially in the New Testament, if you have a name that starts B-A-R, it is not uh, the bar, you know. It is also not being called to the bar like a lawyer, but it means son of. So bar Timelius is son of Timelius. So if you are Mensa, if the name Mensa were to be in the Bible, say your son will be Bar Mensa, son of Mensa. If you are Uzoma, like myself, uh, your name, uh, and you are the father, your son will be Bar Uzoma. So Bar Timaeus, son of Timaeus, and the name Timaeus means Anna. Or oh, when you were in the school, uh, we, we say honor. Uh, someone understand it that way. Honor. Or integrity. So he was the son of integrity, the son of honor. But because he was a poor beggar, poor begging and untidy himself, the name changed to the son of unclean because he was not tired, he was so son of unclean. So from this man, what are some of the lessons, his story? There are seven quick points I have put here. The first is that Bartimaeus teaches us our life could be better. We should hope that whatever be the situation now, the future could be better. That is a blessing. Then the second one, there is light at the end of the tunnel. When it looks so dark around, don't think that is the end. Don't think there is no light. Light may be at the end of the tunnel. The third point, that the future may tell our wonderful story. I will explain that later on. Then the fourth one, Jesus does not ignore us. So, when we seem to be praying and the prayer doesn't seem to be answered, no, so my God has forgotten me. No, Jesus doesn't ignore us. Then that leads to the fifth point. Let us persevere in prayer. Koso bumpai. Then the next one, we should back our prayers with action. I said, Then the last one, faith is crucial. So there is prayer. Which, in which we should persevere, there is action, but there should also be faith, which is fundamental to the prayer and action. If we were in Ghana or some African countries, I believe Nigeria, and those reading the news, they would say these are the highlights of the day's news, now the details. And so I'm not giving the details. So the first one, our life could be better. If you take this was Bartimaeus, blind, begging, poor, untidy, life around. This teaches us that Jesus can turn our lives around. So the present state of life may, be, may not be the end of our story. Jesus says, I have something better ahead for you. So keep trusting in me. So our life could be better. Jesus can make our life better. The second point, there is light at the end of the tunnel. If we are depressed because there is no job, if we are depressed because we are poor, if we are depressed because one or the other thing we need is not available, 
Bartimaeus tells us, I used to be in a worse situation, and Jesus turned me around. Jesus, the light of the world, made me see light at the end of the tunnel. And so, as you still trust in Jesus, the light of the world, if at the moment there's so much darkness of depression, no job, poverty, or I'm married by no child, whatever, Jesus says, I'm the light of the world, and I'll appear at the end of the tunnel for you. Trust in me. The third point, the future may tell our remarkable story. Keep in mind, Bartimaeus, at the time he encountered Jesus, they saw him as an insignificant man in the society. Poor, blind, begging, insignificant. But today, from that time, two, almost 2,000 years, his story is told. So Jesus, he encountered Jesus, and Jesus made him so significant that his story can be read in 2,000 years after he had his sight. Your story, after Jesus has turned it around, may be told for many years. You may have a wonderful story deep into the future that can be told. Then the fourth, the fourth point, Jesus does not ignore us. The people were telling him, keep quiet, keep quiet, keep quiet. He would have given up. But he knew that though people say I should keep quiet, Jesus will not ignore me. So he shouted louder. And then he got to the hearing of Jesus. And Jesus says, let him come, my friend and mommy. So, family members may ignore us, friends may ignore us, colleagues at work may ignore us, even church members may ignore us, but Jesus does not ignore us. He, who so loved us that he gave us his very life, who died on the cross, who said, greater love has no man than to lay down his life for his friend. He who died for us, who never ignore us. He who tells the parable of a sheep getting lost and out of hundred and the shepherd leaving the ninety-nine looking for that single one. He would tell that parable, is the good shepherd. And in all circumstances when people seem to have ignored us, he would not ignore us. He will look for us. So let us trust in him. The fifth point, therefore, if he will not ignore us, then if we seem to be praying and he seem not to hear, let us shout the louder as Bartimaeus did. There was a new one here to the Koso Yasu. For we have said, in a co-pipe, Nyami na do ti obi, Semu ji di ti obi, it's one of the Kenyan songs and I can continue to pray because it will be better because of God's grace. He kept calling Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. People say, keep quiet. Jesus, son of David, keep quiet. Jesus, son of David, keep quiet. But he didn't keep quiet. He persevered and he was spared. And Jesus gave him sight. You know, sometimes you are making a call to someone. You call first time. It goes through, the person is not picking, you call it, the person is not picking. So let me try it last time, you try it, then the person picks. Jesus has keep dying, and you will answer your call. The three, six point, the last but one point, is that we should back our prayers with action. At a point, 
When they keep shout, they kept shouting and Jesus heard, Jesus told them, call him for me. And then they went to tell him, Jesus is calling. And we are told, he took his cloak off and he jumped the blind man, he jumped with agency and went to Jesus. So besides praying, he's is crying to Jesus, that was his prayer. He made that action, took that action of taking off his cloak, jumping and going to Jesus. You know, especially in winter, in cold time, or to now go into winter, you need your cloak, your coat around to keep you warm, to give you, to give you some comfort. He took that off and went to Jesus. The issue is, maybe Jesus is calling us to come to him, but there is something that makes me so comfortable, but I don't want to give up. Jesus says, I want to heal you, give something up. Don't remain in your comfort zone. Give it up. Jump to me and I will heal you. I don't know what you have to give up. I don't know. You know it. Tibia, you are a woman. No, I'm not talking. I'm so you should be free as you check. There is a Tibia and so many. To check. Napa, you check. Also, we did. You can be with that. So whatever gives comfort but doesn't please the Lord Jesus, I have to give up so that I can get close to him and receive the healing that I request from him. Finally, the man had faith, but Emmaus was a man of faith. So he prayed and he cried out to Jesus. He took the action, but his prayer his actions, all these were backed by his faith. And that is why at the end of the story we heard, the gospel in Jesus told him, Go, your faith has saved you. Mark 10, 52. Mark 10, 52. Your faith, go, your faith has saved you. If our faith is little, it's not sufficient. May the Lord increase our faith so that when we cry to Him, we can persevere. And when there's a need for any action to give up that which is, makes us comfortable, but doesn't mean we can easily give that up and reach out to Him and receive our healing. GTA. May the Lord bless us all. Amen. Amen. So let us express our faith in the Lord Jesus. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, the God of heaven and earth, all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages. Go from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through Him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake He was crucified and upon Jesus Christ. He suffered death and was buried. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord will give our life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. Who with the Father and the Son is adorned and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and Apostolic Church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. And I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us bring our petitions to God in prayer. For the church and the clergy. 
we pray for the Pope, our Holy Father, Pope Francis, the bishops and priests. May God bless and guide them and keep them faithful in obedient service to God, that by their life and ministry they may bring glory in Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Amen. May these families find strength and consolation 
in the hope that we have through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the death. We pray to the Lord God for all consolation, that he may help us comfort one another in our grief. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear yeah, our prayer. For the African community of St. Joseph, especially those members who celebrate their birthdays and wedding anniversaries in the month of October, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for Mr. and Mrs. Gecha requesting Mass for their birthday, for his birthday and wed their wedding anniversary, Mr. and Mrs. Ayaman giving thanks with grateful hearts for adding another year to their beloved son Matthew Kweko Ayaman's good life for Haley Okere, as the family celebrate her 19th post famous birthday. May she continue to rest in peace. And for Chief Felicia Achara, a sick world family, thanking God as she celebrates her 85th birthday. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, we We also pray for Doris and Richard Ayamara Tanker, Praying for the repose of the soul of their father in law, Samuel Gamera. We also pray for Colin Kena Wachuku, who recently passed away, praying for the repose of his gentle soul and for God to comfort the family as they mourn his irreparable loss. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. We sent Augustine's past students' union pray for their members in the safe arrival of our Bishop John Lewis. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For our visiting Bishop, Most Reverend John K. Lewis, we pray for his safety and well-being and success of his visit and for a safe travel and journey message back to Ghana. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the members of the Ghanaian community who are our host today and for all the intentions we hold in the silence of our hearts. For those intentions spoken and unspoken, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. And we make all our prayers through Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with the Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen.
acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands, for the grace and glory of his name, for the Lord of the Lord is Look, we pray, O Lord, on the offerings we make to your majesty, that whatever is done by us in your service may be directed above all to your glory through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For we know it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity and even fashioned for us a remedy out of mortality itself that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. <laughs> Small. 
giving thanks, they gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which is poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, and 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 thy Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant a peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter the my room, but to only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Very celebrate in signs may be one day possessed in truth through Christ our Lord. Thank you. 
Thank you. 